Yo guys, what is cracking? Another day, another video. We've got some Russell Peters. Thank you to, for the request and it's most funny stand up jokes. So, this is just a compilation basically. So, we're just going to get into it. I've never, I've heard of this guy, I've never seen his stand up. I've just heard the name Russell Peters. So, let's get into it anyway, man. I've got my joint, got my banging cup of tea. Heavy on the cow with three sugars. Big cup. Let's fucking go. Good. Just for the record, I don't do any Arab jokes in my act. Um, it's not that I don't think you're funny. I think you're hilarious. I, uh, <laughs> you know what it is? I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I feel bad for Arabs. <laughs> Especially in the media, because the media is always messing with the Arabs, aren't they? Every time you turn on the news, they never show you like a normal Arab person. If you watch the news, every time they show you an Arab, even when I say any Arabs, in your head immediately you picture. <laughs> That's what went through your head. I know. Even if it was the wrong sound that I made, whatever. Wow. <laughs> but they never show you normal oh. Arabs. They never show you the people that come to a comedy show and hang out. <laughs> That's the media. They're fucking with their heads. <laughs> I already think this guy is crazy. Fuck America! That's what they're showing you. <laughs> if you look closely at those clips, it's the same ten guys in every clip. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to me when I see wow. when I see the misrepresenting people on the news. And the funny thing is, every time they show you like the news nowadays, it's always like some new country starting some shit with another Arab country. And you know what the funny thing is? Everybody's fighting with the Arabs and nobody's beating them. You know what that means? <laughs> Stop fighting with the fucking Arabs. <laughs> Here's the problem. You can't intimidate them. If you can't intimidate somebody even a little bit, you can't beat them. Mm. Like right before the U.S. went to war with Iraq, they warned Iraq. We're going to come there. We're going to attack you. <laughs> and Iraq went, okay. <laughs> okay. Even the okay. U.S. guy, I don't think he understood. He didn't understand oh. this at all. <laughs> Let me try it again. We're going to come to your country <laughs> and attack you. <laughs> no problem. No problem. <laughs> so casual. It's okay. He wants to come. Let him come. Yalla. Come on. Let's go. Yalla. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> No Even way. the U.S. was like, I think we got to break it down for this guy. <laughs> We're going to come to your country and kill you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you killed me. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. I killed me. <laughs> <laughs> right, man, he's a legend. Holy shit. This guy's and you. <laughs> it's hard to be in a relationship nowadays because the media does all kinds of things to us that we don't know they're doing, you know? They, I'm a hairy dude, right? I'll say that right now and a lot of you in your heads went, ew. <laughs> See, that's because the media put that in your head. If this was the 70s and I was hairy, I'd be the man. <laughs> I was with this one chick, she was in her early 20s. I took off my shirt, she saw the hair on my body and got mad. <laughs> She literally looked at me and went, Ew, you're gross! <laughs> Have you ever felt your penis invert before? Have you ever had that feeling? Just... <laughs> I literally had to sit down and pee for a month. It was awkward. <laughs> I got a hairy chest. It's okay. If you have a hairy chest, be proud of it. I'll, I'll admit, I do do one thing a little extra that maybe you agree with or don't. I don't care, but I do it. I, I give myself like a body fade. I do, it's clippers. I start here with a zero and a one, two, three. It's nice. It's very gradual. It's very... Looks like I got a receding ball line or something. It's very... It's very now. It's very today. Why are you acting like I'm the only guy in here who's ever shaved his package? Why? Why? Why is this happening? You shave it, buddy? <laughs> You're damn right I do. <laughs> and the real asking a man in the audience if he shaves his pubes. Wow. 
Reason to be honest with you, I shave down there to make my thing look bigger. <laughs> Because I'll be honest with you, God wasn't kind to the Indian man, you know? He gave us a lot of things. He was like, all right, here's what's going to happen, Indians. You're going to be great with computers. Okay. You'll be able to survive in the worst human conditions imaginable. Okay. You'll be able to leave those conditions, go anywhere in the world and become successful. Fantastic. <laughs> And what about penises? <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Average. Then he called the black people over. Come here for a minute. I want to talk to you. <laughs> Listen, people are going to be messing with you for hundreds of years. Here's a little extra penis. I don't worry about it. I took it from the Indians. It's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Fucking okay, no. Hello, hello, Latinos. <laughs> One Indian girl in the front, I am not Latino. That's what she did. Sir. Just so you know, I already love this guy. He's fucking funny, man. Holy shit. <laughs> I am not, no. Good. I love, let me tell you something, my Latino people. Let me tell you something. Uh, first of all, I love the Latino people because uh, I'm Indian. And uh, we're, the, we're basically the Latinos of the Middle East. Uh, when you go there, you'll find out. <laughs> Don't rush over anytime soon, <laughs> first of all. I like the Spanish that you guys speak, and I specifically say the Spanish that the Latinos speak because I went to Spain last year, and that's where they speak the real Spanish. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard the real Spanish being spoken, but it sounds fruity as hell. <laughs> yeah, but they speak Spanish with a lisp. I didn't know this. I get off the plane, this guy's like, Hola, señor, como estás? <laughs> I'm like, seriously, dude, this was a long flight. Please I don't need this right now. I'm sure you're a nice person. I'm going to talk to this guy. Excuse me. See? <laughs> First time in Barcelona? Oh, my God. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> See, when I hear Latino funny. people speak in Spanish, I, can, I can't understand it, but at least I know when the sentence starts and when it ends. You know what I mean? There's certain languages you have no clue whether it was a statement, a sentence, or a paragraph, right? Like, like when okay. I hear Spanish, I can hear, and you're like, oh, I don't know, but uh, yeah. <laughs> you hear people speaking Chinese, you don't know whether they said a word, a sentence, a paragraph. Sometimes they don't even start the <laughs> sentence at the right spot. They just sound like they fade the words right in, you know? <laughs> that starts. That sounds good, though, for sure. It's almost like they have ADD because they'll just, you know, extend a word right in the middle of the sentence, you know, just <laughs> I look away That's for one true. second, you go crazy. <laughs> it's funny to me that they speak Spanish with a lisp over there, but the Latino people don't because if you think about it, the Spanish came to you guys and made you learn their language. But even your people recognized how fruity it sounded, you know? <laughs> Repeat after me. Como esta? <laughs> oh my god. Como estas? No, 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 no. Oye, oye. Como esta? <laughs> oh my god. Look at his face. Holy shit. <laughs> Como estas? Why would you sound like me? Because you sound gay. <laughs> <laughs> and when I'm there, I'm trying to find out. I'm asking around when I'm in Spain. I'm like, like how can an entire country speak with a lisp? That doesn't make any sense <laughs> to me, right? Like, there's no way they can all have an oversized tongue. <laughs> so I asked wow. around. This is what they told me. Apparently, back in the day in Spain, there was a king who had a lisp. And in honor of the king, everybody spoke with a lisp. And then it just wow. stuck. I'm like, that's the dumbest story I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> wow. But then I started thinking about it. Maybe that's what happened to my Indian people. <laughs> Maybe we sounded like this. And then some king came along. Hello, everybody. And everyone's like, yo, what's up with the king, dude? 
<laughs> I don't know, but just talk like him so he doesn't feel like a jackass. <laughs> yes, sir, can we help you? <laughs> Isn't it funny how one little head motion can make you look as Indian as... Like I, I can look like I just got off the boat five minutes ago. Just... <laughs> Do you know why I pulled you over? <laughs> Another one that doesn't speak English. <laughs> Way oh to go, God. buddy. <laughs> I've seen the funniest thing today, I gotta tell you this. I seen a white guy driving a cab. <laughs> yeah. I mean, who the hell does he no think he here. is, you know? He comes here, he steals our jobs, you know? I don't like this. <laughs> I just came back from England again. Not fond of England, especially the women in England. You can't talk to no women in England. <laughs> Stuck up beyond belief. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know what the guys have done to the women in England. But they've messed it up for tourists, let me tell you that. You can't even talk to no woman in England. I just walked up to this one girl in London. I was like, hi. She goes, look, all right. I'm sick of guys like you trying to chat me up all day. <laughs> I've got a man you don't believe me. I'll bring him around right now and kick you in your face. <laughs> Holy smoke, lady, relax. I just want a Big Mac and large fries. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh man, I got so bored in England. There's nothing to do in England, guys. If folks, if you're going to England, don't go. <laughs> <laughs> Return your ticket, go somewhere warm. I don't care. You know how bored I got? I tried to commit crime. I did. I was wow. so bored, I tried to carjack somebody. <laughs> Seriously, man, I waited at a red light for a nice car to pull up. A Lexus pulled up. <laughs> opened the door, jumped in. They drive on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> you know how stupid I look sitting beside this guy? <laughs> oh, she's so... <laughs> Can I get a ride up the road, my man? <laughs> it's going right across the country, huh? White folks, if you're out there, if you're, you're in here too, we know you are. Somebody's <laughs> got to work the cameras. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> No, white folks, i got to tell you something, all right? Because uh, there's something you need to know. Um, you have a holiday in North America, and it scares the hell out of immigrant families, all right? Halloween. <laughs> you guys want to relax with this Halloween stuff every now and then? Just a little bit, you know, because I'll tell you something. I'm one of the <laughs> sensitive guys to racism, all right? I fly off the handle a little too, too quickly. It's my own fault, you know. And I'll tell you, because I'll give you an example of how sensitive I am. I asked the white guy for the time today. I said, hey, buddy, you got the time? He said, sure, it's uh, 4.30. On the dot. Oh, on the dot. You want to go on the dot? You, wanna... <laughs> you know, I'm a little sensitive. <laughs> I almost killed a little kid on Halloween because I thought he was making fun of me. He came to my door dressed as Aladdin. <laughs> I'm <be> a little punk. <laughs> I love you. My father can't understand Halloween because my dad's from India, man. My dad's not used to giving out food for free. <laughs> Kids are knocking on our door, trick or treat. My dad's pouring rice into their bag. Feed it home and boil it. There's more than you think. Fucking rice. Oh, shit. Oh. oh, he's fantastic, man. I've got to say, he's fucking hilarious, this guy. Guys, thank you for the fucking request, man. Oh, my chest hurts, my ribs hurt, my face, my jaws hurting. That was a nice long video, but it felt fast. That guy, he's a hilarious, hilarious guy. He can he can like talk about race because obviously he's Asian himself, so he can talk about anything. And he's just hilarious, unfiltered. So yeah, guys, thanks for the request. I really appreciate it and all the nice comments. Thank you. And sorry about my mic. I know. I've got a couple of comments saying that my mic is very quiet while the video is on. And that's because it's a shitty mic. Look at it. I made this. I created this mic. It was just like one of them ones that you clip on your shirt. And what I did here was I got this little mount, glued this spendy pipe onto it, and then stuck the mic inside with the wire. Look, the wire is black taped around. This is some ghetto stuff right here. But yeah, just put a finger from the Xbox mic on top. And there we go, a bit of, bit of foam. 
But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll get a new mic soon. Yeah, like the video if you liked the video. If you thought it was crappy, then leave a dislike. But I enjoy watching, man. I enjoy doing this. Peace. Thanks, guys.